Okay, guys, so here's the uh, the streaming room. But uh, Ben Q sent me a little something to upgrade this projector. So this is the X1300i they sent me. I have loved this thing. This has been my favorite part of my entire stream room. But Ben Q was like, hey, we got something here. It's a little bit better. Want you to have a look and see what you think. So let's unbox this thing. So I already did kind of open up the, the top part, but I haven't done anything else. So what do we got here? So what we got is, this is the Android dongle. This is the new BenQ X3000i. So basically this is a very similar projector to the one we already have, but I'll go over what's different about it. It looks pretty much identical, which is kind of cool. So let's get this thing out. Okay, we got the Android dongle, the remotes. We got some, looks like some feet and some batteries, manual, power cord, warranty stuff. And then this guy. Ugh. Okay, there it is. The X3000i. So probably going Ryan this thing looks identical that's because it pretty much is except for the specs on it are different probably what do you think <laughs> okay, look out I'm doing all boxing um, okay he's very curious so let's get the other one down back here let's get this thing down now let's put these side by side I'm gonna have to remember which is which yeah, I mean, so here's the new one, and here's the old one. I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't tell a difference. What's nice is that like my all my hardware on top can I can just swap over. But like in terms of the body, it's the it's identical. The lens looks a bit different. So what's different? This is 4K. This was not. I if you ask me if this was a 4K, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But I'm curious to see how it's gonna hold up against this this new one. This is the X3000. Okay, got it all mounted on the ceiling, looks awesome. So not much has changed in terms of the like exterior of it compared to the 1300. Uh, I noticed that there's a piece of glass here that goes right over across the lens, which is nice. So you can just wipe that off of any dust and anything like that instead of going right on the lens. So that's nice. But other than that, it's like the exact same. Your Android TV dongle goes right inside there and it looks awesome. So I'll show you guys what it looks like here. Right, checking out some images of it now thing looks amazing so this is a true 4k projector so it will run 4k at 60 hertz or 1080p at 240 hertz so you're gonna get really fast gameplay you could play first person shooters with this using 240 hertz that's 240 frames per second in 1080p or if you want just smooth 4k gameplay at 60 hertz which is totally doable then this is your option but man it looks so freaking sharp you guys I, I it doesn't come through in the camera but it is a noticeable upgrade compared to the last one that i had compared to the 1300i but i can't wait to watch some 4k movies on this and play some 4k games i'm getting a ps5 i don't have it hooked up to my computer right now um because i don't have a long enough cable uh display port cable but I'm, I'm hoping to get a PS5 that's going to live in there. So that's what I'm hoping for. I just can't get my hands on one right now, but eventually I will. So I'm just playing an old, oh, a Super Ryan clip here. So some other key factors. Um, it has 100% DCI P3. It has HDR10. So it has different HDMR modes with the uh, Game Maestro. So you get first person shooter mode. Uh, this is in like a role play game mode. Um, open world game mode so it will adjust the colors the brightness and all that it has a low four millisecond response time which is crazy for a projector so if you want to play some like first person shooters you can at 1080p 240 hertz and four millisecond response time that is crazy what is cool too is like i have a hooked up i don't have the, the sound on right now but i do have it hooked up to my surround sound but the speakers that come in it are actually really, really good. So if you just, if 
you have a room and you don't have a speaker system, you'll be actually really happy with these speakers. They're Travolo speakers and they surprisingly pack a punch. I was using them for a while before I got this surround sound system and I didn't have any problems and I really enjoyed it. But man, this, this is so cool, man. I can't believe I have a 120 inch TV. It's bonkers and it's, it's so bright. What's cool too is like I have it mounted here and it, you can use keystone adjusting. So if you're, if you have it projecting at the bottom of your floor up, it'll adjust for it left and right. So it's allows you some flexibility where you want to put it on your, on like in your room. I have it obviously mounted to the, the ceiling here, but you could have it on a, on a table, like a coffee table, no problem. And it will, uh, it'll do good. So my hiccup here, I'll turn the lights on. So always kind of my hiccup when I wanted to like get a projector was like, ah, it's not as good as a TV. Like it'll never be as bright. And plus like, I know that bulbs are expensive and they'll have to be replaced. But what's really, really neat about this is this thing uses an LED bulb. It's a four LED bulb, which means it is throwing a lot of light. It's about 3000 lumens of brightness, which is crazy. So this bulb will actually last 30,000 hours. So if you're watching, <laughs> Do the, do the math. If you're watching an average or playing an average of like three hours a day, uh, this thing will last you quite a long time. Do, do the quick math, but how many years will that be? <laughs> a lot. So very, very happy. Um, it is like, if you're thinking, if you have a space like this and you're like, man, do I just get a big TV for like, I mean, how, how much are 85 inch TVs now? Like they're what, two, $3,000? You can get one of these, you can take it, it's portable. You can take it with you, you can take it to a friend's house, you can take it outside, throw it on a throw it on a wall. Obviously it's not waterproof, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, and honestly, the, it, the, the difference between a TV and a projector is getting narrower and narrower uh, each year these things come out. So big shout out to BenQ for letting me upgrade to the big, the big boy, the 3000i. So I got to do some more things with my room. You see here, <laughs> some of my tiles were falling down. So I got to, I got to put those back up. I got to, I got a whole whack of tiles yet to go up. I'm going to surround this whole section of the room. Uh, I was thinking of doing this wall as, as well. Got some new stands for my racing rig, which is neat, but I'm going to get a new desk too. So there's still some more upgrades and I want to do this. This isn't done. Uh, I just need more time, but uh, yeah, so the, it's coming together, but it's crazy that I'm like, I've already upgraded this projector that 1300i was great, but man, I'm very happy to go to 4k here. So guys, if you want, if you're thinking of picking one of these up and I, I can't recommend it enough, if you're, if you're like me and you had a big wall space, you didn't know what to do with it. Uh, check out this one. Yeah, BenQ X3000i. If you use coupon code 10 Ryan, again, that's 10 Ryan, you'll get 10% off. And this discount is good until uh, March 31st. So it's good for about another month here. So if you're, if you're on the fence about it, I had the previous model that's in that box there for I think two years now, and it worked without a hitch. And it's easily out of everything I have in this room. This thing is my favorite upgrade. This is my favorite piece of this room. So if you're on the fence about it and you want something you can game on, you can watch movies on, highly suggest it. Thanks again, BenQ for sending this over and shout out to them. But anyways, guys, we'll see you for some more GTA streams, videos. Check me out. Uh, I've been doing lots of live streams. So thanks for coming out to those, but uh, much love to you guys. And we'll see you later.